everybody, and welcome back to Aptastic. Mandy, are you ready to smash it up? Yes, I've been smashing it, getting us this tech stuff going. I'm, I'm pumped, so now I'm like, let's smash it in the game. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you who have been wonderful, loyal watchers of Aptastic and kind of stuck with us yeah. through a, a fair number of <laughs> challenges that we've had with tech, we are starting on time. <laughs> We're starting on schedule. This is amazing. Uh, and it only took us <laughs> like four, five, six hours of prep time, Mandy. <laughs> oh, it was driving me nuts. But I think crossing our fingers, things are good. <laughs> Uh, really, truly amazing work. Uh, thank you so much for all that hard work, Mandy. Welcome, everybody. Today, we are going to be playing Smash Up live against each other. Smash Up, as you may know, is a very, very popular card game in which you fight to take control of different bases by creating your own personal deck comprised of two different factions and then playing them out together. So maybe you feel like being Ninja Robot, or maybe you feel like being, I don't know, Cthulhu Halflings or something to that effect. Uh, the number, I mean, Mandy, I don't even know how many Smash Up expansions are out there anymore. There's, There's like they so have a, many. They have a big box. Like, it's, they have a big box. But I have to show everybody my shirt, because so you can give a guess as to what mine might be. Ha, ha, ha. So just throw that out there. You might have an idea of the factions that I'm going for. <laughs> mm -hmm. I wonder. So for those of you who also don't know, Smash Up is a wonderful app. It's available on mobile and in Steam. Mandy and I are going to be playing via Steam just because it's easier to stream against each other. And this is developed by Nomad Games. And thank you, Nomad Games, for donating some extra Steam codes for the base game for us to give away today. Really excited about that and appreciate your support there. So, as always, when we give away uh, codes or app codes, what's going to happen is sometime later on in the show, we're going to take a quick break and we're going to say the secret word. And in order to enter to win a copy of the game, you will have to send an email to saltandsassgames at gmail.com and you're going to put a secret word in the subject line that we will reveal later in the episode. That's all you have to do. You're entered to win and we will draw at random at the end of the show. All right. Mandy. Yeah. Let's, let's play some games. Let's right. play some smash up. Let's do the thing. So let's just switch on over to the game scene and we'll make you the up there. Awesome. Nice transitions. That makes me happy. <laughs> <laughs> Let me pull up the game here. And hello to everybody in the chat. Thank you so much for joining us. We hope that you're doing well yes. on this fine, I don't know, Thursday? Is it Thursday, Mandy? We'll say it's Thursday. Oh, Thursday yeah. sounds like a good day for it to I'm be. Like, so, like, I'm so behind on time. It's crazy. Don't know what day it is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, Alrighty. it's me. Yeah. So, Mandy, you are first up. I think we know what factions. Anybody who's familiar with Smash Up knows what factions you're going to pick. But exactly. In the app, uh, there's the base game, but then it, the app does allow you to purchase expansion content if you want to. We have a couple of the expansions, so that's why you see kind of a ton of, of faction choices in here. And they do a snake draft in order to pick factions. So, Mandy, you'll get to pick the first and the last, and I will get to pick twice in the middle. So I'm going to start off by picking the Mythic Horses. All right, and they have a whole togetherness vibe. So I'm going to go Absolutely not My Little Pony. <laughs> Just so Mythic Horses. I love it. All righty dighty. Well, that makes it tough for me. I think I will go with... Oh, not zombies. That's all you. And I just <laughs> know thank yes. you, zombies. I love the zombies. I kind of <laughs> like killer plants. <laughs> I'm going to go with Killer Plants. <laughs> it's such Feed a weird... me, Seymour. Feed me. <laughs> and then I'm going to go with Robotic. We're going to go with Robotic Killer Plants. Received. That is... Feed me, Seymour. <laughs> All, All right, right, well, mine's no, no surprise there, so let's just pick the zombies. <laughs> I think horses and zombies. There we go. I love it. All righty. So uh, what you're looking at here is the interface and 
uh, oh. the bases are indicated. We have three bases that we're fighting over. It's player count plus one, I think. And yeah, there's actually each base is unique. So in order to see the detail in the app, you just hover over in Steam and it shows you the details. Uh, the number in the upper uh, left, get my directions correctly, <laughs> is the number of, of minion power that needs to be on that base for the base to break. And when the base breaks, the person with the highest score, the person with the most minion power there will get the far left points uh, for the base, that kind of thing. So here we have the Temple of Goju. After this base scores, place each player's highest power minion that's here on the bottom of its owner's deck, which is nice. So we get a minion back, a yeah. power minion back. Okay. This one is the Czar's place. It takes 22 points to break it. And it says minions of power two or less cannot be played here. Oh, Dun, dun, dun. But there are, at least in some factions, there's a lot of cards that let you move minions between bases. So yeah. you may not be able to play it directly there, but you could maybe move it later. And finally, oh, the tabletop. For 20 points, if we break it, the winner draws three cards, then discards three cards, two oh. cards, which is really nice because um, what there are two different kinds of cards in here. There's minions, which add power to a base to help break it. And then there are action cards that affect the game flow or, or point power and things like that in different ways. And you can play one of each on your turn, but sometimes you can end up in a situation where you have only action cards and you really wish you had a minion. So being able to draw cards is always a nice thing. Absolutely. Okay, it's so up So Mandy, I think you're gonna start off, right? Yeah, I get to pick a card to play. So let's, uh, now my memory's very poor. Anybody who listens to the podcast knows it I is. talk about it all it's the really time. It's really bad. So I might have to come back and read these cards again. Uh, so just bear with me. Okay, so I like that top one there. Minions of two cannot be played. So that one I remember. And then winner draws three cards and then discards two. I kind of like where that's going. So I like it. Uh, I'm going to play the Zombie Lord. You may play an extra minion of power two or less from your discard pile. Oh, I don't have a discard pile yet. Never mind. I'm not playing the Zombie Lord. I don't know what that was about. Okay. Oh my goodness, this one has quite the thing going on here. Let's see here. Okay, interesting. Okay, let's start off with an action first. There is a lot of reading. Yes. Because, <laughs> and, 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 and it's one of the advantages, or one of the great things about the game is that each faction plays out differently. And their mix of minion cards and action cards are all unique to that faction. It just means that when you're playing, especially if you're playing a faction that you're not really familiar with, there's a learning curve every time you play. And then certainly if you're just mixing and match matching factions, learning how factions complement or don't complement each other is a whole nother learning curve. Now this one is play an extra minion at a base where you have a minion, so I'm gonna play it. So that's my action, which now allows me to play. Uh-oh. The zombie Why lord. Are you going to the And it did let me bring that back. Okay, there we go. All right, all right, fine. You know what? We're gonna fight. <laughs> We're gonna fight because it's smash up. It's not hug fest. This is smash it's not, up. It's not hug right? fest. <laughs> All right. So we are going to play the nuke bot. Oh, jeez. But <sighs> mostly just because nuke bot is. No, oh, wait a second. Nuke bot's that, a big boy. That does not sound good. Nuke bot's a big boy. I gotta read that. What is that? And then I'm going to play my, oh my Insta Grow with oh an evil looking pansy that's gonna let me play another minion. <laughs> Oh. I don't know if you all can hear the sound effects. It's like... <laughs> I am going to play... Ooh, two, three. You are at seven points there. Yeah, but that one, if I decide to destroy it, I might not have seven points. I'm going to play... Actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hedge my bets. And I'm going to play... So I click on my Zappa, and I want to play to... Oh, it won't let me. It has to be there. It has to be in the... So I'm not going right. to hedge my bets. I played Zapbot, which lets me play an extra minion oh. of two or less. So I get to play another oh, minion. Boy. There's a lot of this chaining happening here. I don't know if I like it. Yeah. <laughs> I, and it says I may play. I don't know if I can play it. I think I have to play it to the same base. So I do. Yeah. Okay. Boom. Jeez. Uh, there you go. And my turn is. Okay. Me. My hand is pretty poor. So just give me a moment. Here. <laughs> so this is not good. Okay. Ah. Uh. But now I'm really light on cards. So I played out, you draw back two at the end of your turn. So because I played a bunch of cards, I'm a little little short. My hand's a little light right now, which gives me less flexibility. So 
It came with sacrifices, Mandy. Yeah, this is not, my hand is not so good. I just, uh, my discard pile's looking kind of light. I think I only have the one card in there, which is actually very disappointing. So, what if you can't play? Do I actually have to, ooh, jeez Louise. I think I'm going to play this one just because I feel like I don't have a lot of options here. I'm going to go here, actually. I don't want to break too soon. And then, do I want to? not keep that one. I am a little concerned about that one, though. Okay, I'm actually going to choose this one here, which is choose a base, move any number of your minions to it. And I think that's what we'll do. And, oh, actually, that's not true. I have to go back. Let's not do that one. I don't think it's doable. Ugh. Okay, sorry, I'm reading. <laughs> well, that's a wasted card, I feel. Yeah, I have like uh, I have a card that yep. I'm not going to be able to be most efficient on. So I ended up just playing the one card and no action because if you were seeing me read them, they weren't really doing anything. Like I would have been just doing it to throw it out there and that was wasteful. So I'm putting out my weed eater. So it's a little weak when it comes out, but it will be more powerful shortly. So just so anyone knows, I've played with zombies before. I had not played with the horses. So that's why it's taking me a bit of time to kind of figure out the combination. So but it was just, And then I'm going yeah. to put I'm gonna put choking vines on your rainbow. Oh come Sorry, on. rainbow. At wah, the start wah, of your wah. turn, play on a minion. Ongoing. At the start of the turn, destroy this minion. What? So, uh, yeah. oh, whoops, did I do that? Oh, so, Amanda Panda's is asking if there's an undo button in this app, and there is not. No. And honestly, I kind of wish there was, because I actually didn't want to play my weed eater there. I meant to break the tabletop base, and I forgot to. <laughs> so, uh, oops, oh well. Wow. But it's just a game. <laughs> I don't even know what to do. Okay, let's do this. Okay. Oh, well, now I feel like I have to play it here. So basically that gives me extra power to my minion. So while another of my minion is there, this minion has plus one power and it's on ongoing. Wow, you didn't break that base. Okay, okay. So now you're at 8, 10 there and I'm at 9. One of the nice things about this interface is one of the challenges with the physical game of Smash Up is that if you don't have extra little counters or something, there's a lot of counting and recounting of the base powers between the bases right how many minions do i have are you know when does this break that kind of thing the great thing about digital play is it tracks it for you so we know exactly how many points mandy has on it and how many points i have on it okay oh that's what i wanted to do there we go oh shoot Jesus. that's not what i wanted to do <laughs> I picked the wrong uh, well, yeah, one, and there's no the... undo. Oh, so this is an example of where I would have not done that. I read the card wrong, and unfortunately, that's garbage. Wah, 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 wah. I'm so mad. Oh, man. Okay, you know what? This is not a bad thing, necessarily. Hold on. Hold the phone. Not so bad. Uh, uh Let's do this one. And we'll just prove it here. I know I'm going to lose that card anyway. Oh, I can move more if I want to. No, I think that's going to be good enough. That was totally bad on my... Like, I had a plan. I just was backwards in my mind because it would have oh, been awesome. Bye-bye, Rainbow. Bye-bye. Uh, yeah, that did not go the way. All right, it, I'm going to play this action card that should let me draw three cards. Wow. Yay. Our practice game, I was doing much better than this game. Why is that? <laughs> Ooh. I like that one. But people in the chat, I know a lot of, like, I actually have only played maybe a couple games digitally of Smashbox. I have not played the physical Smashbox. game. Smashbox? Sorry. Smashbox? <laughs> so anybody who knows makeup knows that's a makeup line. I meant to say smash up. <laughs> I had to turn the makeup, makeup brain off. So smash up. Uh, so this is my first time, like, playing you know trying out different decks so anybody else in the chat have a combination that they like because i know a lot of people have played this and i feel like i'm surprised you're well you probably are going to break that one i mean yeah i actually just realized i misread it i thought it was you had to play low value minions here no you have to play high value yes. minions there yeah i misread that 
be. So... It's so, but it's so easy to like you read it. It's something different in your mind. So. Okay. So do 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 do. All right, let's do this. Let's just. I I'm gonna. I'm doing this for a lot of points. Um, from your huh. discard pile into your deck. Okay. That should be interesting. Which I don't think I have. So. Yeah, I don't have any. Okay. okay. And then I get to choose another one. My goodness. <laughs> Destroy minion on the base of power less of the number minions that I have. So, okay, why not? Uh, no, because then this would cause it to... I actually want to think I want to play this one. Yeah, don't do what I did and play it wrong. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Okay. <laughs> and then I am not going to play another minion because I done won the tabletop. Yay! Look I'm a winner. That. Can I tell you how, had I played it correctly, um, I would have broke it. I would have scored it yeah oh for sure no, if i had played correctly i would have broke it don't get all on your high horse little zombie horse I've been girl. like i did not do the things that i should have done <laughs> yeah i get it oh discard a card sorry do, 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 do. yeah this is a... oh i don't want to discard that oh i like that one <laughs> i want to discard that one um um uh oh uh okay i'll discard this one there's I just think. so much so i can't so see the is there, you have to tell me if our regulars are in the youtube because i unfortunately can't see it i hope so because we have some really fun people i can see people in the tw in the twitch chat that i recognize so this makes me happy okay so mary lou is asking if how many players can play this and if it's best for two uh, you can play up to four, I believe, yeah, and I think, so. I think the best player count for Smash Up is actually three. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I I think it's fine at two. It can be a little long at four right. uh, for me, but three is that sweet spot where you kind of get some cross-player competition as opposed to kind of the head-to-head -head action that Mandy and I are doing right now. Um, I really like it at that three-player count. Yeah, and some of the factions you don't want to put together because they can be a little, you know, I don't say invalid necessarily, but it can be really strong for one person or just extend the game, if you will. Okay. Okay, I like this card. Let's play you. So I get to choose a base. You know what? Let's give her here. So that allows me to place a minion from my discard pile into my hand. Well, now that I have a discard pile, that was a good time to play that card. <laughs> okay, so let's do that. And I forget you don't drag it. You just click it. Yeah, it's like click, click, click. Yeah. Oh, it didn't drag it. Dang, nab it. <laughs> Ooh. So the card did not go into my hand as I would have liked. So that's interesting. <laughs> okay. Um. Let's do... Okay, well, let's try this one. What's the new the new base that came out is Tortuga. The runner-up may move one of his or her minions to the base that replaces this base. Oh, that's nice. Hmm. A character is good. Oh, that's pretty good. No, let's do this one. The one I wanted initially, which wouldn't let me, for some reason, work. Okay, there we go. That's what I was trying to do. So now I put an extra minion of power two or less from my discard pile where I have no minions. Kabuki Kid dropped into the chat. Hello, KK. It's nice to see you. Oh, it's right here. Oh, that's why I didn't see it. The discard pile comes up right in the middle. So I do find that a little hard to see, I must say. Okay, and I can basically play it. Uh, Let's see here. This one is... Oh, that's a good one. Let's place it there. <laughs> so it's not doing anything for me right now, but it will later because it'll give me some extra help. So I'm going to play a card that um, onto the Tsar's Palace. That means your minions cannot be moved or returned to my hand by other players' abilities. Oh. So trying to put a little minion protection in there. Is it Amanda Panda that's in Twitch? You can tell me yes or no, but yes. Likes being on Twitch because there's less lag. Yeah, it's exactly how you see it. Unfortunately, YouTube does have a bit of a lag. Okay. All right. Uh, whoo. Okay. That card seems a little crazy. All right, I'm going to play uh, okay. Oh, interesting. I've got a combo potentially in my hand. Oh, hello. Hmm. hmm. Okay, I like that. 
play. Now, I know a number of people that really like Smash Up and play it a fair amount, uh, especially with all the variety. But what I've really found is kids in that kind of 10, 11, 12 age range really, really love Smash Up. <laughs> like, it's old true. enough to get sportsmanship and, like, not get upset if they get attacked or, like, they lose a base. Right, right. Old enough to read all the cards and start to figure out how <sighs> things work together and old enough to get all the goofy jokes. So and I went a little goofy, little too that's high. Cool. That scored, and it actually gave you three points, and I got two because I was not paying attention. There's a lot going on that you have to pay attention to, so I'm literally giving you points this game. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> okay, so the new base that came out is the Jungle Oasis, which is just a low break point, quick and dirty base. So yeah. there you go. Oh, that first one is awful. You just need to be um, first, period. Yeah... Oh, you know what? I really need to step that one up. Oh, goodness. Yeah, I'm not doing so hot. So just to anybody who was hoping that I'd win this game, not going to happen. <laughs> I'm going to play an action that says I can play up to three minions of the same game. Okay, okay. And I happen to have some sprouts. Sprouts. <laughs> and while these cards will get destroyed next turn, I get to search my deck for a minion of three power or less and play it as an extra minion. Okay, okay. And then I'm going to do it again. Oh, boy. Because I have two sprouts in my hand, so I get to play two sprouts. And that wasn't even my minion play. All I'm right, all right. <laughs> that only puts me at power four. Oh, this is terrible. I can only play high power minions here here so i will do that yeah this is this is bad well bad no for me. no you're <laughs> fine <laughs> wow i my, literally have no minions on the board <laughs> it's just unfortunately my carnivorous plants have a taste for cute pony legs Jeez, this is so creep chomp 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 <laughs> oh boy all right well that upped that so that's not so bad now i get to play an action um, yeah, Kabuki Kid is mentioning that the math, you know, the app does all that math, and it's so nice. Yes. I love not having to do right. just the administrative math in the game. Okay, this is nice. I like where that's going. Um... But overall, I think you can see it's a very polished presentation. It plays very smoothly. I think the UI is really friendly. I think they did a good job of... Um, using the real estate because, you know, when you play in real life, you just kind of put put the, the base cards down and you tend to move, put cards around it. Um, and you'll often use the sides of the cards like, okay, I'm going to put all my cards to this side of the, of the base so that you can kind of easily track whose cards are whose. Um, for real estate here, you just get this strip and then they they color code the cards to your deck, which is really kind of cool. But then they do all the math for you. So they make it really simple. Oh. What are you playing into oh, the Tsar's palace? That's my palace. Get out I gotta, of my palace. I gotta find the card I'm supposed to be playing here. Oh, <laughs> from the discard. Oh, zombies coming from the grave. Yes, but it's saying here, so it says choose a card to play. However, it's not letting me pick one. Yeah, Amanda Panda and Kabuki. I mean, we can a happy to ping Nomad. I mean, not that we have any influence there, but they're open to feedback. They're a really great developer and letting them know that an undo um Sorry, I'm just would be to... a nice feature to add is something that is worth pinging them about play on your base on your turn you may play a minion here from your discard pile instead of your hand okay well that's gonna do that perfect what just happened all righty oh well no it's my turn no i know I but you turn too no but you lost cards off that base why wait which base the bottom one uh Tortuga. Yeah, you had cards there. Um, oh, that's interesting. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> oh, no, because they get destroyed. So okay. that's the, okay. that's the minions. Those are the minions that, like, they they die at the end of the turn. Ah, but okay. They allow you to get other minions into your Because I was like, so I didn't do anything fancy. That was expected. So, yeah, okay. no, that was expected. In fact, I was having difficulty playing one of my cards. Uh, let's see here. Well, do I want to... I don't know if oh. I'm feeling this combo, I must say. Ooh. Gosh, there's so many options. Oh. 
Okay, I want to play the... Oh, I have to click begin turn. Choose a card to play. I want to play a microbot here. Let's see if I'm going to do this correctly. Okay. And then I can get my... Yep, shuffle into deck. There we go. And shuffle into deck. And shuffle into deck. So I'm basically pulling my little one power microbots back from the dead. Ha! You have zombies. I have microbots. Okay. Well, good for you. <laughs> Hi, Dean. Welcome to Aptastic. Thanks for joining us live. It's nice to have you here. All right. While well, you're doing that, I'm here. just checking. Oh, uh -huh. Yeah, that goes. Let's see here. Play. Uh, okay, so I have. Okay, I'm done. I'm done shuffling my microbot, so I have to click done. Sorry. That's okay. Now I should get to play another minion. I'm going to do that here. Ooh, I like that sound effect. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> and then, no, that would be a waste. Then I'm going to play an action card onto the Czar's Palace that will let me draw a card for every. Minion I have there, which lets me draw three more cards. Okay. Boom. I got a full hand. I'm ready to go. Got a deck full of microbots. <laughs> that sounds so strange. <laughs> okay, it's my turn. All right, let's see here. Um, okay. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I'm sorry I made you wait, Mandy. I just had so many cards No, to it's play. okay, because I, I feel and like I, I, made you, you I forgot to usually I post out to everybody that uh, we're playing a game, and uh, we didn't do that for... The old Twitch, Twitter, so I was just doing that while you were thinking of the things. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Mm. I don't like what's happening up here at all. Oh. So I remember when Smash Up first came out years ago, and it was just the silliest, goofiest idea, and so <laughs> much fun to kind of explore those, those card combos. Yeah. I will say, now that the app is out, the fact that the app does your math for you is so nice. And and if I were to play against a friend like this, I don't necessarily love playing against the AI. There's nothing wrong with the AI. But for me in a game like Smash Up, there's just something about the player interaction um, that I get I find really rewarding. So it's much more rewarding for me to play against you, Mandy, than to play against an AI in this type of game. Oh, absolutely. Okay, I think I did but the thing. I like I like the math doing. Doing really nice. Oh yeah, that's oh that's a little too close for comfort over there. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that, that might not have gone well for me. I don't think. Oh sugar. Where am I here? I am at. I'm I'm so cranking this base. Should I just put it? No, I don't want to. Do that. Um. The runner up may move. Oh, the runner up. Oh, you want to be the runner yeah, up? Yeah, that's there. what I. Yeah, there was one base I did that and I was all like, yeah, I won. And I'm like, no, who really won? Not me. Okay, I played the Venus Man Trap to, uh, to the Jungle Oasis that's, here. So it should search your deck for a power, a minion of power two or less and play it there as an extra minion. So I will search my deck. Do, 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 do. Ooh. That's really close for comfort there. Yikes. A little too close. Uh... Oh, I don't want to play that. Ooh. I don't want to play that there. I do want to play... You know what? I'm going to play a Sprout there. Yeah, you're like just... And then... Oh, I love the sound effects. The sound effects are, are juicy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um... <laughs> I mean, hmm. I'm just gonna play this here just for funsies. Why not? Why Wait not some sleep spores Other scattered on you, minions? Minus one. That's just evil. Unbelievable. So Nate Vestal in YouTube is saying, Mandy, that they want your headphones. <laughs> so you can have these for the low, low price of like two hundred dollars. Um, but you can buy them at. Yeah, they're well. They're probably a bit less than that in the U.S., but probably like one fifty, one sixty. But uh, Razer. So if you're familiar with Razer products, and for those who don't know, my entire setup here matches the headphones. They have a whole set. So I have a stand, I have a keyboard, I have a mat. They all light up, and they're all pink. <laughs> okay, let's see. What were we doing here? If you play a smaller base where you have another. Meanwhile, video. I'm over here with my like ten dollar earbuds. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen. It does the job. That's all that matters. 
All right, let's do that. Okay, that's going in a good direction. So wait, that... what are you doing? What are what are you doing, Mandy? So I played on the middle base, and it says if you play a minion on this base where you have another minion, you can play an extra minion this turn only uh -oh. use Steel's ability once. Are you so? Uh oh, are you gonna? Do you have a three or higher? Um, I sure don't. <laughs> okay. Oh wait, no wait, hold on. Yeah, I can't play it there. I wonder if it'll let me play it there. Nah, I didn't think so. Okay, that's okay. Oh, I don't want to play it there. Now you've confused me. <laughs> okay, playing it there is not great. Playing it here sucks because you have this. Poop a loop. Okay, let's do that. And now I need an action. Did you just say poop a loop? <laughs> I did. Poop a loop. <laughs> I mean, that's a saying. Is that a sure. Canadian thing too, Mandy? No, it's just a thing we say. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So move one of your minions to a base where you have a minion in my place. Okay, so I could do that instead. Oh, I can't move it there. Oh. Cancel. I will not be doing that. You know what? I'm actually going to end my turn. Reloading. Ah, uh, dun dun dun! I know. I Yay! know. I'm just I suck at this game. <laughs> Yay! I'm at seven points. Yay! I need a fiver. Hey, Mandy. Yes. Like, okay, so let's like Cool Cats Alley is our next base. Once during your turn, you may destroy one of your minions here to draw a card. Oh. Dang! That's wow. pretty good. Wow. Okay. Not too um, shabby. But I think Mandy, we have. A few codes. So oh, we're yeah. playing Smash Up from Aldrac Entertainment Group, designed by Paul Peterson, and uh, the, the the app is developed by Nomad Games. And Nomad kindly donated some codes for the base game on Steam yes. to give away today. So if you are interested in winning a copy of Smash Up for Steam, the way we do our giveaways is you must send us an email to Salt and Sass Games at gmail.com and put the secret word in the subject line and then you're entered to win so mandy what's the secret word today the secret word today is nomad <laughs> so nomad there it is <laughs> nomad indeed so uh again just an email to salt and sass games at gmail.com with the secret word nomad in the subject line i'm sorry i don't say it with as much panache as mandy <laughs> and you will be entered to win one of the copies of smash up for steam that nomad games kindly donated so thank you so much we've got the team mandy team suzanne debate yeah this chat. is anybody i'm mm. sorry swing your votes over to suzanne no. i am not <laughs> familiar with this deck at all and as you can see i'm playing horribly you're doing fine and everybody loves the underdog mandy so the fact that i've <laughs> i've surged ahead or the almost under, almost doubling your score means that cat. like yeah. you know <laughs> the undercat yeah all right i'll <laughs> finally play my turn so sorry about that we wanted to get that giveaway going because <laughs> oh, that's fun put do different colors on my headset it's hard to see i, I do, no, 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 no. tortuga the runner up i mean then you get to move i don't want to help you all right let's go let's go body we're gonna go with the bot. Begin uh, turn. I am step ready. It step it I up. am ready. Do I want the cool cat? It's three points, but I've already started on Jungle Oasis. Let's do Jungle Oasis because I think that'll push me. So I've played my bot that would let me play an extra minion of two power or less. So I'm going to play <gasps> another Zap bot, okay. which lets me play another oh, minion this of is not two power or less. This is mm. not. This is not going well. Okay, hold on. I will on. play this, this one up here. Well. No! Oh, it gains power for all the other microbots on the base. <sighs> this is terrible. This is wah, wah, wah. This is so bad. I can't I even. I could play an extra minion. I have a, an insta grow, but that just seems so unnecessary. This is it just unbelievable. Seems so unnecessary. I just. <laughs> I'm so sorry. This is my worst game to date. <laughs> hmm. I will, I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna play it cool and end my turn. Yeah, well, it's, uh, yeah, I don't even know why I'm looking at the screen. I get no points there anyway. Oh, boy. Okay, this is sad. 
sad state of affairs. I need to step it up. I have to tell you, though, my cards, not so good. Crystal Pisano is in the chat. <laughs> Hello, Crystal. What is happening with this? My cards? So anybody who's looking and look, these, you can see these cards are not good. <laughs> like, at all. Ugh. So for any of you who are not already fervent, regular viewers of Dice Tower tonight with Eric Summer and Crystal Pisano, you yes. are missing out. So fun. Those two are fabulous. They play games with you on their show, and it's so entertaining and engaging, and um, it's fun to see them together because Crystal pulls something out in Eric that very few people can, <laughs> and it is hilarious. It's I love so it. It's so true. I agree. Sorry, I'm going through my deck here. Got and think. so Dice Tower Tonight is every other Wednesday, I believe at 6 or 7 p.m. Eastern time. No. Uh, it's at 9 o'clock Eastern time, I think, on Wednesdays. Okay, 9 o'clock Eastern, I think so. 6 p.m. Pacific. Yep. Got it. Yeah, because I can watch it. Usually if I'm working, I can watch it. So, <laughs> And I get up early. Okay, let's take a gander here. What do we want? Well, I mean, if you're like me, you're out there and you're just looking for something in the background sometimes yeah. to have because we're all home. And so just something to, to mix it up, right? Boy. Let's go there. <laughs> okay. Well, that was not the best turn, but it's a, I had to work with. <laughs> What's up with all the cat bases? So we have Cool Cats Alley and then we got the House of Nine Lives. If a minion at another base would be destroyed... Yes. Its owner may move it here instead. Ah, so wow. well, I have to say that bottom base, you've literally just uh, other so you can play there. I can't play there until I get rid of that card because all of my stuff you is can. Yeah. You can play there. If I want negative points, which I certainly don't want. <laughs> you can you can play it there. Oh, my cards are just terrible. I'm telling you right now, I will never play this combination again. Really? Oh, it's not good. <laughs> um, okay, well, I'll play there. Why not? I'm playing my beloved microbots. Uh, if this is the first minion you played this turn, you may play an extra minion. Each of your microbots gains plus power. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Um, I will. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put another microbot there. I kind of want to get on this House of Nine Lives. And I'm going to destroy your Tenacious Z what? because it's ugly. Oh. Oh, I didn't get to destroy it. I thought no, I, could I get destroy. to move it. Which one are you? So which is that one? That's... Oh, no, you get to move it. I forgot. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Great. Nikes. Let's get it out of there oh, because it's not doing me. you, House of Nine Lives. It's not doing me any favor sitting there. <laughs> Um, okay, let's go. Uh, so Son of a nutcracker. Darn it. Ooh, I could go there. Let me just read this card here. My oh. ability was blocked. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, <laughs> Mashup. Thanks. I figured that part out. <laughs> okay, I've, I've made my move. <laughs> Listen, I've already done a few things and I was like, what am I doing? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and play an extra minion. I'll play my instant grow, which lets me play another minion. Oh, it's gross. Yeah, it yeah, is. I don't know if noise. anybody can hear that. We turned down the sound effects a little bit, but it's it's, it's interesting. I'm going to put it on the house. I, I just got to get on that house uh, nine lives action. All right, come it. on. Yeah, that's not good at all. Okay, let's see. I'm going to do this card. <laughs> the sound effects are really bad. So basically, get and to not the, bad. They're, no. The sound effects are good. They're, they're good. just very thematic. So I think I looked through it, and I have multiple cards with that place. Uh, okay, so, so basically, Sir Phobos yeah. in the chat is asking if Smash Up is worth it for solo only app play. They listened to the podcast where we were talking about games that are better in digital form than in physical form. And it's funny, Sir Phobos, I was just talking about how I actually prefer Smash Up in person because of the interplay. You're really playing the other person, and there's so much energy in the combat and, and how you're going against each other. I really like that. Right. Does Smash Up play well solo as an app? 
a hundred percent. It is, uh, it's from Nomad Games and they tend to deliver really full featured rich app experiences like the Mystic Veil vale app. So, which is one of my favorite board game apps out there. So I think it really just depends on what you want out of the experience. If you enjoy the fun of mixing factions and learning how they work together and kind of exploring that element of the game, 100%, the app is great. If you like what I like about Smash Up, where it's really about the interplay between players, unless you're going to do something like where Mandy and I are, where we're playing over um, a video chat together, then it, it doesn't have the same energy. But from an app quality point of view for solo play, 100%, it's great. Exactly. Okay, let's see. Okay, I kind of like where that's going. So what happened where's on that going? bottom? What happened Wait, to that bottom? Wait, how, what happened to the bottom base? It was negative and now it's not negative. Why is that? Hmm? You had on the bottom base, you had played your sleep spores. Other players' minions have minus one. It's power not hit. negative. It's zero. Instead of a zero, it just puts. It means I had nothing there. Oh, okay, okay, got it. So it was a dash. It wasn't negative. I the, see. The red, the red dash was the zero points for me. And okay. Then I put two, and now I four. Because I thought it was saying I had negative four, and I was like, what? So, but if I no, place, no, 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 no. But if I place anything there, it's not worth it, is what you're telling me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Got you. Want to make sure I'm understanding. Okay. And apparently, I get to do another one. Oh, this is interesting. Bear with me. I'm sorry. This seems to be like going on a little bit. Although I don't think. Does that say? go i still get to play a card really oh my goodness oh my goodness oh my goodness I mean, in action every turn no i've already played all of the things so and i think yeah, you it's... must have pulled something extra huh yeah it said i think right now what it's basically asking me is if i want to do something with the card in that middle row but i do not want to destroy it because if i destroy it allows me to pull i think so yeah which i don't want to do okay so i'm going to end my turn and just as a reminder, Mandy, the game ends when somebody hits 15 points. Oh, so. I know. I know. I'm looking at it. I know. <laughs> just just, just going to put that out there. Uh, you know. Well, if you get that top one, and I, don't, I just didn't have anything to destroy. That's the thing. I feel like I don't have enough things in my hands to destroy cards. It lets me play extra cards. So just anybody sure, who's looking sure. at these. Like, so groups of cards, which is good. Or bringing cards back to the dead. But I don't find there's a lot of destruction cards in these decks. Right, right. No, that, that, yeah. So let's see, it's 13 points to break Tortuga, and it is 12 points to break Cool Cat Alley, and only seven points to break the House of Nine Lives. And that'll, that'll win you the mm. game if you get that one. I'll be closer, yes, <laughs> but it'll win you the game. Ooh, shuffle your deck. Ooh. I wish I knew how many cards do. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm going to actually play Sleep Spores there, which may be counterintuitive because it lowers the, the the points that are there, but it does weaken you, which Did I you like. play that again? Oh, my goodness. I just can't help it, Mandy. Yeah, okay. I can't. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and play this up there to see the Hoverbot. I drew a minion. I drew a minion. <laughs> so it gets to go up there for free. Uh... And then because of that one, I think I get to shuffle Micropods back into my deck. This, okay, so if you're playing this, don't play with my combination. With it's not you can't destroy cards. Hey, it, it's it's your T-shirt, Mandy. Playing your T-shirt. What was I thinking? Oh, uh, okay. So we're over to me. You just you're trying to coordinate your smash up play with your T-shirt. <laughs> And it led you astray. It, it, it certainly did. Because basically, you have two cards on these bases, and if I put cards there, they basically are zero, is what you're telling me. No, they have, sorry, one less power. Yes. Yeah. <sighs> I don't want that to happen. So, I so Kabuki Kid, I, I absolutely love all the Universe games, and um, I, I, it didn't... The app doesn't ruin o Oniram for me in physical form. It's just there's a lot of shuffling. You like shuffling. I don't care for all the shuffling. So, but I still own Oniram, the physical game, and it sits there, my beautiful set of Oniverse games. Um, but yeah, it's it's so good. It's just really, really, really fun. Oh, you have great is, taste in games. This is terrible. 
This is so bad. And Dean says that they have Eon's End, Oniram, Elder Sign, Xena Shift, and Dresden Files Cooperative Card Game. Dresden Files Cooperative Card Game, I think, is an underappreciated board game app. I love that game in app form. It is so much fun. It's so puzzly with the way that the two different card lanes work and everything like that. I love it. Oh, yeah, I can't do that one. Oh, and Crystal is calling out One Deck Dungeon. Mandy, oh. you and I know One Deck Dungeon. So good. So good. So just FYI, I can't do anything to destroy your cards. Like, I have nothing. I don't either, though. To be clear, <laughs> it's not necessarily... Like, it's it's kind of about flooding a base, I think, yeah, anymore. If you've been trying so. to destroy my cards, you're not going to do it. I can't. My, yeah. my cards don't have a lot of destruction of you either it has reduction and it has a lot of cards that let me put out multiple minions in a turn right uh wait what's that saying what what just happened so crystal one deck dungeon oh i love that game in real life because you get like a, all those cute little dice and you just get a big fistful of dice they get to roll but i love the app so much and there's so many different characters you can play and the app i like to play it in kind of the story mode where your character builds up points that you get to allocate to new skills that you get i love that app i play it all the time it's so good okay what is that saying i can do no i don't want to do yeah, that Kabuki kid is talking about missing the physicality of rolling the dice and when yeah i do miss that but it's so easy to play in app form and it's so convenient and the tracking of your character stats is so simple i just is really really good so this is where it gets a bit confusing for me it says so choose a card to play but nothing's highlighted actually that's not true it's asking if i want to play cards from the center which is the one that lets you destroy cards oh okay yeah so let me just quickly read this here uh okay no sorry i got a lot of cards nope uh okay i did that i did that okay well i did as much as i could so i don't think it's going well for me well did that i mean you i, I mean you managed look you managed to break it without giving me any points so good for you i know but you're gonna yeah <laughs> Because I was able oh, to... Dean's saying that they're playing uh, the Dice Hunter app. I've actually played that a bunch, too. I like Which one? one? What is it? Which one? Dice Hunter. Oh, I have not played it's Dice not, Hunter. It's not a board game, but it's it's like Age of Rivals or uh, uh, Slay the Spire, right? These aren't technically board games, but they really carry over core mechanisms from the board gaming world. Right, right. All right, new base. The Haunted House. After a player plays a minion here, that player must discard a card. Oh, farts. Oh, which one? Is that the new one? Ooh. That's a new one. Yeah, actually, yeah, I'm not yeah, mad at yeah. that, actually. I am not mad at it. Okay, so I'm not... Well, I, I feel like I'm in the game, but then it could just change for me. So we'll see. Because <laughs> I had a really well, good run see. of combos this last so one. Okay, so like the House of Nine Lives. I'm red, so I just have to break the House of Nine Lives if I can. It's basically what it comes down to, I yeah, think. Yeah, if you can do that, that'll do it. I'll get... Yeah, you would basically... Yeah, you would win it for sure because i can't play i mean i could play but there's not really a point to me playing on those and having you break it that would be bad and any of those two bases really unless i can find something to counteract it okay i'm gonna play a microbot there and then i get to shuffle microbots from my discard which i may not have i may not have because i've already shuffled them all in which is fine um, and then I'm going to put another microbot there that gains power for my other microbots. Boom. There you go. Bob's your uncle. Yeah, it's done. Love it. That's unfortunate. <laughs> I'm not even going to play an action card. I, was... I love this. It says, base the house of nine lives is scoring, so it lets me play a card. Fine. It lets you have Why a turn. It Why didn't not? break? Why didn't it break? It did. It's just I have a card that has an ability. Uh, oh, got it. Okay. <laughs> Crystal's playing me Mini Metro. Oh, Mini Metro. That game. I mean, is there even any point? No, there's not putting it there. Ugh. Dean is asking if One Deck Dungeon lets you play the Forest Edition, and I'm pretty sure it does. It has, I'm pretty sure it has all of the expansions, and it may have content that's 
in there too. It's got it's got a ton, a ton of content in it. Yeah. Oh, this is so Ooh. sad. So sad. I thought I was like catching up there when I finally got the cards working out. <sighs> Game, Game over, over man. <laughs> Game over. I love it how yours is like really big and mine's like second. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good right. game, Mandy. Good exactly. game. Exactly. All right. Let us switch back over here to, and let's make it both of us. There we go. Well, that was a crushing defeat. <laughs> I, I honestly, it was great that you had destroyed that cat base right at the end, and you you came back. Like you came back. It took one base with no points to me, and you were in the mix. It's just but that's my problem. Too close on that. I and feel... those microbots. Those microbots are. That was that was strong. They were, I yeah. just feel like me, I finally started getting the vibe of my decks right then. So I'm like, oh, numbers, just go crazy because I couldn't destroy anything. And it's like, it's too late. I realized it after like there was no way I was going to win. <laughs> oh, and, well. and I think that's it. I know that in general, robots are considered a very, very strong faction. Right. I think the horses are considered a really strong faction, yeah. though, too. I just have to learn but to use them. You have to learn how to use them and you have to learn how they combine with other things. Exactly. Which is the entire point of the game, yo. So here you are. I think and we I need a rematch. Say, rematch on this one. Mm, <laughs> we'll, we'll see. see. We'll see. <laughs> we have we have plenty of grudge matches. Oh, to that's true, already. actually. <laughs> we got I think next time we're thinking about doing a grudge match settle, right? Uh, yeah, but, but either like a shards of infinity or mystic veil, something along yeah. those lines. Because we went one and one. We can't let that stand. We got an ultimate victor. I have a chance with those ones. <laughs> Thank you, everybody who joined us for another episode of Aptastic. If you enjoyed watching Smash Up. If you hadn't seen the app before, hopefully that gave you a little glimpse into how the app plays. I would definitely say if you're interested in trying Smash Up, the app is a great way to explore it. There are a ton of, uh, you can get the expansions in the app and things like that. So you explore the game fully and uh, smooth playing and, and unless you're Mandy, right? It's, it's a great experience. <laughs> <laughs> and in case you missed it, don't forget if you want to be entered to win uh, one of the copies of Smash Up for Steam, kindly donated by Nomad Games, you can enter to win by emailing us at saltandsassgames at gmail.com and putting the secret word in the subject line. What's that secret word, Mandy? Nomad. Ah. <laughs> Why are you? Are you in zombie mode? <laughs> That's how the game sounded. The sound effects sound like that. <laughs> it's, it's very, very true. Yep. Just email us with Nomad in the subject line, and you'll be entered to win one of those copies of Smash Up. Thank you, Nomad Games, for yes. donating that. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for being here. It's awesome. Thanks for letting us be part of your gaming day. Appreciate it a lot. Yes. We did good. We did good. Went off without a hitch. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Mandy, you did great with all the tech stuff. We started on time for the first time in like right? three episodes. That was awesome. And hey, if you have a suggestion of an app that you would like to see us play on the next Apptastic, feel free to send us a message on social media or on email. You can see it in our little our little dealy bopper sparkly signs. You can tell Mandy makes them because they're all sparkly. So then talking, you know yeah. Mandy did it. Uh, feel free to send us your suggestions for Apptastic on games that you want to see and we will do our best to make that happen. So until next time, everybody, have a great time playing games. Stay safe, stay home, stay healthy, and we will see you next time.